ang iPhone 15 Pro ng Apple ay nandito na guys sa mga solid iPhone users natin dyan. Alam ko, excited na kayo malaman kung ano ang pinagbago ng iPhone 15 Pro ngayon. Sa mga gusto bumili ng iPhone 15 Pro, panoorin nyo muna ang video na to para malaman nyo kung ano-ano ang mga bagong features ng iPhone 15 Pro. Kaya sa video na to, ibibigay ko ang top 10, top 10 na bagong features at ang pinakamagandang tatlong features ay ibibigay ko sa last part kaya siguraduhin mong panoorin mo ito ang buong video na to para hindi mo sila makaligtaan. Kaya naman sa mga bago pa sa akin channel, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe naman dyan. At i-click na din ang yung notification bell para updated ka lagi if may bagong videos ako na i-upload. So, wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Simula na natin to. Video, pasok! Sa number 10 natin, the ringer switch simula pa noong unang iPhone na action button basically gives you a ton of different options na makapag-launch ng apps and gives you instant access to features gaya ng flashlight, focus modes, or opening your camera up and taking photos na walang problema. With your iPhone, to wake the display and try to swipe or long press the camera button and then making it even better, you will have infinite customizability since you can launch shortcuts which can basically do anything you want from turning on your smart home, accessories at home, to opening any app out there now. Dati, hindi mo na kailangan na para i-unlock ang phone mo at hanapin ang mga apps mo. Dito sa iPhone 15 Pro, maa-access mo na agad ang mga favorite apps mo sa ringer switch lang. O, oh, di ba? Bongga! At ito pa, ang iPhone 15 Pro ay may thinner display bezels which is something that you get to experience day to day dahil palagi ka lang nakatingin sa phone mo and the super thin bezels definitely make everything seems more immersive lalo na kapag nanonood ka ng videos or movies on the Pro Max model the bezels seems even thinner salamat naman sa mas malaking display area and I think the actual size of the phone will be slightly smaller. Medyo maliit siya than before. So, it will more easily fit into your hands at sa bulsa mo. At sa number 8, in-upgrade nila to 8 gigs of RAM which is makakatulong to make your phone feel a bit more snappy in terms of general performance and especially when multitasking with multiple apps open at the same time. But hindi lang yan, ang main improvement na makukuha mo from having 8 gigs of RAM is that pwede kang mag-run and cycle through more apps without them closing on you when you come back to them which is palaging nangyayari if mag-post ka ng video sa YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter pagbalik mo, magsisimula na naman ulit ang video which was super annoying, di ba? But now, it's gotten a lot better and it will probably be flawless with the 8 gigs of RAM on the 15 Pro. Oh, di ba? Bongga din, di ba? At sa number 7 naman natin, meron bagong A17 Pro chip ang bagong iPhone 15 Pro ngayon. The new A17 Pro also comes with a redesigned neural engine that is now twice as fast which is solely responsible for a bunch of new camera-related features na pag-uusapan natin later on sa video na ito. Ang A17 Pro also comes with a dedicated AV1 decoder which takes care of playback of YouTube videos and anything else with the codec para ma-improve ang efficiency and there's also a new USB controller which is pag-uusapan din natin yan mamaya and don't forget the new hardware ray tracing which makes it a Pro Class GPU to support the AAA games of the future na inannounce ng Apple, di ba? Sa number 6, at ito naman sa mga nagaabang sa camera features nito. The brand new 5x telephoto camera for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, ang bagong camera uses a new Tetra Prism lens design which reflects light 4 times inside of the camera which basically creates the necessary light distance required to reach 5 times zoom which is actually very innovative compared to the rest of the industry. And the new 5x camera is that the aperture is the same f2.8 as the 3x lens 
which means that it will take in the same amount of light. So low light photos will look just as good and there won't be any additional noise. Oh, ang ganda, di ba? Ang panglima na ito ay hindi talaga na mention ng Apple which is the Wi-Fi 6E support on the 15 Pro models. This finally enables the new 6 GHz Wi-Fi band para mas makakuha ka ng mas faster speeds than before. And it enables thread support so you can get a dedicated network for connecting and controlling products in your home. Essentially, being a low power and low latency mesh network. Oh. At pang-apat, ang redesigned iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max chassis para sa mas madaling palitan if may sera which is a huge wow! deal for the repair industry at hindi lang yan. It has a big advantage for regular users since it just came much less expensive to replace the back, back wow! glass if it gets cracked or damaged. So that's a big bonus feature for anyone. Lalo na sa mga taong hindi marunong kumapit. Kahit anong gawin mong kapit, bibitawan at bibitawan ka pa rin nila. <laughs> Di ba ang sakit kumapit sa taong hindi naman? Kaya hindi ka naman papahalagahan, bibitawan ka lang kahit kailan nila gusto. At ang top 3 is the new titanium metal design. Ito ay isang big deal because we've been stuck with the stainless steel since the iPhone 10. <laughs> iPhone 10. <laughs> 10. iPhone 10. So it's really nice to get something unique and fresh again. With a brushed titanium look but there are actually some real benefits to the titanium other than aesthetics. Una, lighter than the previous ones which will definitely be noticeable in the hands. Pangalawa, it won't be as glossy anymore, so it's going to have better fingerprint resistance. And titanium also gives the iPhone better heat dissipation, so games will run better as well as the other apps. Number 2, ito na naman ulit para sa camera features niya. The new 24 megapixel camera output and the new automatic portrait mode. For the first time in 8 years, Apple's iPhone 15 and 15 Pro models now automatically shoot 24 megapixel photos as the new standard instead of 12 megapixel by default. Kung kagamitin mo ang main camera niya, photos should look noticeably more sharp compared to previous iPhone models. Apple also announced automatic portrait mode which will turn on portrait mode if ever may madetik siyang mukha o tao o di ba hambongga. The regular camera mode will now capture death data kahit hindi mo gamitin ang portrait mode so that you can go in later and turn it on a portrait photo as well as change the focus point which is an absolutely great feature. At ito na ang number 1. iPhone 15 Pro features of course have the switch to USB-C. Ito na yata yung pinakamalaking pagbabago sa iPhone because the lightning port has been holding the iPhone back for far too long, especially the 14 Pro models, which could shoot in high quality ProRes. This will be a huge deal for allowing you to use just one cable for your iPad, your Mac, and your iPhone. You can now transfer files up to 20 times faster than before, which is a huge deal for large backups and ProRes videos, which you can now record at 4K, 60 fps to an external ssd from the iphone making it easy to transfer to a mac for editing all iphone 15 models now support display port for a to 4k hdr video mirroring video output to display and tvs oh ayan sa mga nagbabalak na bumili na iphone 15 pro models natin no so, may idea na kayo kung ano yung mga bagong features ng iPhone 15. So, yun lang po ang ma mabibigay ko na bagong features ng iPhone 15 natin ngayon. So, maraming salamat guys. So, please support me guys. Subscribe naman dyan. <laughs> salamat guys. Salamat sa inyong support ha. Till next time. Bye!
Thank you.